Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get started with and use the LSP FEM presets within Evoto AI. In this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating this beautiful straight out of camera image shot by Anna Brandt. You can watch the other tutorials on the LSP Actions website or YouTube channel um, to learn more about working with these presets within Evoto and also some handy Evoto tips for photographers. In this tutorial, I'm going to dive straight in about the presets. So when you open up your image or, or images in Evoto and you come into the editing pane, up here um, on the upper right, you have some icons for the Evoto adjustments. The presets work within the Evoto adjustments. Over on the left side, you have the presets. Your screen might look a little bit different to this because, let's just make that a little bit longer, Evoto is always updating and adding new features. So if your screen looks a little bit different, don't worry too much because Evoto changes all the time. The principles will remain the same. Your presets may land on the recommended um, area. These are presets that Evoto has created for you and you can click and use. But this tutorial, we're working on the uh, independent LSP actions presets that use Evoto sliders. So you need to click on my presets and inside uh, you can use the LSP FEM presets which is what we're working on in this tutorial. If you haven't loaded the presets yet you need to come up to the little plus icon, import presets, preset token. You can find the preset token within your download, um, it's a code that you basically place in here. It looks a little bit like this. You need to paste that code in and just hit import and your presets will pop up here in your preset panel. I like to drag them to the top, like this. Hit the drop down and you'll see what's inside. Now before editing, I'm going to be editing here with this sock image straight out of camera. This is a straight out of camera JPEG image. These presets also work on RAW, um, all forms of RAW that Evoto supports, JPEG, TIFF, um, any, any file type that Evoto supports. You might be coming in um, straight out of camera edit like this image, or you might have already done your pre-edit in Lightroom, ACR, Photoshop, or whichever software you like to use. Now there's two important things to remember when working um, with presets, the LSP presets in Evoto. First thing you need to do, over here on the color adjustments um, icon in Evoto, is come down where it says real-time color adjustments, turn this off, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see the skin adjustments very well. So make sure you turn this one off. The next thing you're gonna want to do on your color adjustments panel under basic is adjust your uh, white balance and exposure if you didn't quite nail it in camera or you haven't already done so in a different app um, or editing program. I'm just going to use this quickly to take a sample of the background to set the white balance um, because it's a grey background. If your background is a different colour you're going to want to do this manually, grey card or use your eye. White balance is a very personal thing. Some of us like to get it bang on um, correct with the lighting, others like to make it a little warmer, a little cooler, it really does depend. The next thing you're going to want to do as well is to set your own exposure. None of the presets from LSP at least work on your exposure because again, how long is a piece of string? The exposure really does depend on your image. You don't want to be using an auto exposure, you want to be using your eye for this one. So once you set your white balance and exposure, we can go ahead and start the edit. You can use the LSP Firm preset start to finish, or you can work them into your own workflow. Entirely up to you. You can also edit them as well, um, edit the effects and the results, tweak and change them, mix and match. I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. For shorter tutorials, you can watch the other video tutorials on YouTube or the LSP Actions website to see some quicker kind of recipe guide tutorials, editing lots of different feminine style images. So let's dive in um, and get started. The first thing I'm going to do manually is crop this one. I'm going to crop this to a, um, a 2 by 3 ratio and hit OK, just because we don't need the excess in the scene. So let's dive in and look at the presets. The first section you have is an all-in-one. This is the quickest section in the presets and the quickest thing in um, your Revoto when it comes to editing feminine. The all-in-one are literally, um, they adjust every area, they adjust your colour, your um, the blemish removal, skin retouching, teeth, eyes, makeup and hair, everything needed for a quick feminine edit, but it's all done for you. So I'm going to start by hitting Lemon Sky Hit, and you can see this instantly is updating your image. Boom! So here we have before and after using the Lemon Sky Hit. You can see this is a very kind of 
um, a high-end feminine edit, a big retouch there. You see with the belly, for example, everything's kind of been changed. And you can reset any of these at any point by hitting reset presets. It will reset the section. We have fine art vibes. Just playing out. High key sweep. This is for high key images. It's not going to suit this one too well. Midnight. This is for darker images. Boho babe, as it says, it's for your more boho images. And on this, of course, on this image, you know, it's not going to suit these so much, but I'm just going through to show you these different looks that are going to apply. Editorial, um, minimum will give you an editorial edit. Very, very, very edited. And fashion is going to give you a high-end fashion edit. At the end of this uh, section, you might want to come back into your basic panel and retweak a little bit. For example, I'm just taking that exposure down. I might take the whites and the highlights down a little bit too. These are just some small things you can do. Now let's go on to history and just reset our image all the way back down. So we started where we were when we cropped. Because you, you have the, you know, you have the total presets here, but what you might want to do is build up your image piece by piece a little bit more manually, which is still way faster than playing with Evoto sliders because it's done it for you. So in the base adjustments, your bases um, affect the whole look of your image. You have a basic sock, sock tweet, straight out of camera tweak. If you're really happy with your image straight out of camera, this is a great one to choose. So before and after there, it's given us a really nice little tweak. And we can change uh, the kind of intensity of this. So I'm just bringing that one down a little bit. Or we could try the Lemon Sky base as well. This one gives a beautiful sweep to your straight out of camera images again. Before and after, I think for this image, we're going to go for Lemon Sky Base. You can watch the other tutorials for the other bases. Uptown is going to bring it up, Downtown darkens it. Um, the Save White Base does exactly what it says on the tin. High keys for high key images. A high key haze is, gives you a nice light, um, dreamy high key finish. Save Shadows, um, again, what it says on the tin. And Dark Back is the dark background images. Next up, we have the Portrait Retouch section. This works on the blemishes and marks. You can find this and fine tune it if you wanted to over in Evoto's portrait retouching section in the blemish removal. You can choose feminine, uh, female, child, elderly male, depending on who's in your portrait. You might just have a woman like this, and if so, just choose female. You can also go in and make individual changes to men, women, children, um, and elderly, if you wanted to. The presets would do all of this for you. I've made every um, change to assume you have a family portrait in case it's needed. So in the portrait, you have stretch marks only. So let's zoom in on the belly here. And this is going to do what it says on the tin. It's going to help uh, reduce those stretch marks down. You can come into blemish removal if you wanted to. And you can tweak and change any of these areas if you wanted to. If Voto uses AI, so it really does depend on the image um, and what Evoto sees in your image as to how um, the effects work. If not, we have a subtle skin, which is a subtle skin tweak. You have gentle skin. You have Skin Complete, which is going to remove all of these little blemishes and everything. It's a really great combination we put together here for you. And Skin Perfection, if you want that real high-end finish, you can go for Perfection. I think I'm going to go for Gentle for this image. And we see there before and after. Next up, we're in the Skin Retouch section. Again, a label because it retouches the skin and it also works on Evoto up here, Evoto's Skin Retouching section. Again, you can choose the um, age and gender of your subject. So we have a retouch light. This retouching section has some smoothness, some contouring, some shading, shadowing, and it can help balance out the tones in your image. We have magazine editorial, high end and masters. I think for this one, how about we go for a magazine edit? This is a really nice, beautiful base to start with. And again, you can tweak further, even in the skin retouching, which is where we are now, you can hit the little brush and you can mask this away, you know, from anywhere you don't want it to show and hit OK. You can only mask this in Evoto on the blemish removing section, the skin retouching section and the hair. Next up, we have teeth and eyes. Not needed for this portrait, but you can see these um, examples of these in the other videos or the recipe guides um, for the LSP Femme presets. Teeth and eyes 50% will brighten the eyes and whiten the teeth 50%. Teeth and eyes 100% will be a stronger edit. And again, you can reset each section as you go if you don't want to use it or you want to change it. 
I'm going to add a little bit of makeup here. Again, this is working on Evoto's makeup section. It's got so many different options in here, um, many of which are not necessary for feminine portrait unless you want to um, make your subject look completely different. So the LSP presets work on um, the varying levels of makeup. You have natural, daytime, full face, glamour, hair and makeup artist. How about we go for a little daytime look? We see there before and after, added some little makeup in. Or if you went for the full hair and makeup artist, this is also um, yeah, um, editing the hair as well. I mean, sorry, the makeup. <laughs> Tripping over myself. The makeup um, sections in here to add a little bit more. We see there before and after. I think we're just going to go for daytime makeup for this um, subject. Hair salon will tidy up your hair. It'll give you a gentle tidy, a little boost and fix, or a complete retouch. How about we go for boost and fix? And you want to watch up here. The hair is going to lift a little bit. It's going to give you a little bit of liquefying. It's going to fix those stray hairs before and after. Now, if I do boost and fix, if we watch the belly here, it's also decided that the belly is hair. This is the thing with Evoto, and when you're editing, I recommend um, at least editing at 100% as you go. So you can double check this, and you can make sure that Evoto isn't kind of doing anything um, a little bit odd with your image. For this image, I don't mind it, actually. I think it looks nice, so we're going to leave it like that. The dress section, Gentle and Full, works on Evoto's um, clothing icon up here to de-wrinkle and change your clothing. I found the perfect blend for that one. You have Gentle Fix and Full Fix. Body mods. Now, this is something that is completely subjective, and it's if you want to kind of change the body shape of your subject. Perhaps you've shot um, a little bit too far above, you've shot at an angle that's not completely flattering. You can add Body Tweak, a tall and elegant, a liquefying grace especially great for uh, pregnant women because this is going to just kind of make them feel really really great without changing too much a little bit taller a little bit rounder you see there before and after but for this image we really don't need to do that so I'm just going to hit reset on that one it's just going to bring it back down again and now we're into our finishing touches section and the guide a your download guide you can see what each one of these finishing touches do but I'll just go through super quickly this is going to add a finishing touch to your whole image the Sophia finish is a bright contrast. Taylor is kind of a strong, curvy contrast. Uh, Lisa is a deep contrast vibe. Carla is a nice, bright finish. Sally is a lovely matte vibe. Freya is kind of a magical matte tone. Dora is quite playful, quite nice and deep. Uh, Bridget is dark and moody. Sorry if your name is Bridget. I'm not saying you're dark and moody, just the Bridget effect. Bohemia is kind of a boho moody. Catherine is a nice kind of matty, um, slightly green fine art finish that brings down your shadows, highlights and tones. And you can, each one of these, you know, you can hit them. For example, I've just hit Emily, which is a deep grungy kind of matte finish. Not necessarily going to be well suited for this image, but we can turn this down. So it really depends on how you want your kind of your finished look to be. Violet is a beautiful kind of violet tone. Could just add that in each one of these you can reset you can change the strength of it and you can also go on your history panel to take them off um, a b is kind of a lovely magenta blend to your image which works well um, depending on your portrait a lovely cool background added there too and mauve is um ella is a nice mauve kind of warm and deep finish to your image for this one, I think we're going to go for the Sophia Contrast finish. So I'm just going to add that in and let's just dink it down a little bit because the image is already very contrasty. So we don't really need that too much. Okay, and let's see our before and after. And at any point when you've downloaded, you might notice there's a few more added in because these are just as Evoto is an evolving program, I'm also um, evolving the presets at times. So if um, one is created, I'll pop it in there for free for you. So you might have downloaded these and noticed there's some extra bits or things have moved around a little bit, but the principles remain the same. So there we have our before and after image. Raw and Evoto, that is literally just all in Evoto. At this point, you can go into Photoshop and carry on. You can try and use Evoto for your full edits. I do recommend, you know, I, I don't think at this stage Evoto is necessarily suited for full edits. I recommend it as an in-between edit, in between your um, your cataloging, uh, um, Lightroom, ACR, whatever program you use, and finishing up with Photoshop. Evoto is kind of your middleman step 
that cuts a lot out. It's like the assistant sitting on your computer that can really, really help you get these, you know, the tedious tasks fast and also provide some amazing artistic finishes for you to try out, uh, fall in love with and use on your images. You can watch the other tutorials uh, for using the LSP Evoto presets. You have the Femme, uh, Newborn and Family, Black and White, the other LSP uh, presets that you can use to enhance your editing in Evoto and also help with your editing in Photoshop and Lightroom because this is your in-between step. So I hope you enjoy the other tutorials. I hope you love these presets. Um, I hope they speed up and streamline your Evoto section even faster than before. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.